never giving up on has finally brought me Michael. here. Back to the original murder stain. Michael, it's time to give up on the murder stain. I need you to quit. What do you mean we're giving up? Something more important has come up. There's something more important than the murder stain. Yes, stage. much more. It's on your computer. Come on, I need you to get moving. Yeah, right. Candidate declarations for Reno mayor from the city website. What the fuck? Uh, that's not me. Okay, let's see what happens when we click. Oh god, no, I the wrong. This is Michael Stefan Graham. Oh my god, look at his handwriting. It looks like I wrote that. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess we know what this week's episode is going to be about. It's going to be about me running for mayor. This is going to be great, all right? <laughs> Remember, I want you. It's going to be a good thumbnail. Let's see uh, what happened at uh, Coffee and Comics last week. Man, It sucks, though, being an emo and living in Stockton because... When you're in stock, you're supposed to be like gangster or hood. So every time I go to Sacramento, they gave me the nickname Emo Gangster. And I really don't like it. Because <laughs> it started making me think, I'm like, what does an emo gangster do that a gangster doesn't, you know? Like, fucking, am I not afraid to cut a bitch or myself? Like, I don't understand it. You know? <laughs> like, the, a gangster has a gang. To be in a gang, you must have friends. Like, no, it's not happening, man. Gangsters hold their guns like this. An emo gangster holds it like this, so. <laughs> I, I don't actually want to perform comedy tonight. I just really wanted to uh, be called the N word in an endearing manner by black man. See, the key is it has to have the word my before it, and then that just means it feels all warm and fuzzy inside. And yeah, I, I like I like you guys. What's up, Corey's friends? I I hope we're still on to play Yu-Gi-Oh later. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Oh my god. But really, I'm only dating these girls because uh, uh, they're very specific. I'm looking for girls right now that have sugar daddies, so that way they can help me pay for things. And because uh, I kind of want some quality time with a sugar pappy. I'm missing that male bonding time where somebody's taking me fishing and giving me life lessons. And people are like, aren't you worried about having sloppy seconds from an elderly man? I'm like, I don't look at it that way. I look at it more like I'm inheriting their pussies. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you, guys. I'm Luke. <laughs> Should I call him it? Yeah. <laughs> he needs it. I do. Please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it weird now? <laughs> I feel like you're hard right now. <laughs> that's, that's my nigga Let Luke Wesser. Oh fuck. Alright. Alright. Oh my gosh. Um I'm gonna bring up your guys' next comic. You see, under my administration, if you deserve it, you'll be called um, a term of endearment that is racially charged. These are the kind of things that we're going to... Look, that, I had nothing to do with... That was... If you, hey, if there's an issue, talk to Luke and Mo about that. Afterward, we all went to the office and we went to go say what's up to Norm. We're very lucky to see one of our dear friends, Paul Spark, came out and made everybody laugh. Here's how that looked. See you at the polls. Pokemon Go to them. What are the odds of you shooting for the show? What? I said, what are the odds of you shooting for the show? Apparently pretty high. <laughs> Apparently pretty high. I uh, Keep yeah, it I like I panicked. Yo, let him so finish. Just, like, what did uh, you say? Yo, let him I, finish the joke. <laughs> yeah, I uh, yeah, this is awesome. I I like having to get someone to look forward. That's cool. I so I shit in the shower, bring it back, bring it back, and uh, I panicked. So I just like waffle stomp it down the drain. <laughs> like a fucking man. That's what a man does, right? They... So I was uh, trying the old dating apps like all the other guys around here. 
Yeah, there's a lot of single people going around now. <laughs> and uh, met this girl and she kind of catfished me. Like, the picture that she first used to like, get me to swipe right was not the same picture that she sent me as we were talking. And the new picture, she was not a very good looking girl. But I'm trying not to be a shallow person. Like, I'm not a bad guy. Like, I try to be nice. So I keep talking to her, and I'm like, well, maybe she's got, like, an interesting story or some personality or something. Give her a chance. So I'm you know, asking her simple questions. You no, know, one word fucking answers. I'm like, hey, have you seen any good movies? No. Have you watched any good TV shows? No. Now I'm reaching. I'm really stretching here for this one. I'm like, maybe she's a reader. You read any good books? <laughs> No. <laughs> All right, well, maybe she's busy. She has a job. You know, and I'm trying to get, give her the benefit of the doubt now. And I uh, go, uh, do you work anywhere? No. I'm not trying to be a dick, but my kidneys don't work. I don't think I need a girlfriend that doesn't work, too. <laughs> <laughs> Innocent Corey. <laughs> oh, you had a I met that guy one time. I met him one time. Wait, the Nigerian guy? You met him? Oh, no, the kid who was at the last comedy oh, show. Oh, fuck that guy, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you guys missed it. Not talk about I want to talk about your story a little bit. Yeah. Like, that's. I feel so, like, just a quick survey. Who else has been, you know, blackmailed by a scammer over a dating app? <laughs> so I was hoping for a little bit more support for you. <laughs> the next day at Wednesday, we did a quick drop-in visit at the library where me and uh, Mo and Luke Demas, we got to do some roasting. It was a fun open mic. And those are going to be two of my, uh, my staff members as soon as I'm Reno Mayor. Because remember our new slogan that I just thought of? A vote for me is not actually a vote for me. And, uh, yeah. I had three way the other night. Yeah. Woo! Oh, thank you. Thank you. It was yeah, fun. It's great. Well, <laughs> let me rephrase. Depending on if Roe v. Wade gets overturned, I have a three way. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> 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 Me, her, and a baby, you know? <laughs> oh. Give it up for Vicky. Vicky is real comedy royalty. She threw her up her back in the 70s wrestling Andy Kaufman. <laughs> <laughs> Noelle's up on stage. I love Noelle. Your body is all bass. <laughs> you feel like uh, Louis Armstrong's voice. <laughs> <laughs> Julie in the audience. Julie has four kids, so we know what that mouth doesn't do. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing it does is say, come in me. <laughs> <laughs> Got Michael Graham in the audience. Michael, what can I say about you that hasn't been said about Tom Hanks in Philadelphia? <laughs> You're pale as shit, you're skinny, and you probably got AIDS from Luke Demas. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Luke Demas reminds me of one of the Rugrats if they didn't grow up all the way. <laughs> uh, and now the lady of the hour, Michael, come here so I can talk shit about you. Coming out, I wrote something for her too. Uh, Micah is like a cabbage patch kid if it was designed for 17 year old boys to play with. <laughs> <laughs> Micah, you remind me of Red Velvet Cake, where I do want to eat you, but I always forget that you're going to stay in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Micah seems all sweet and innocent, but she inspired my pegging joke. <laughs> 
Yeah, she fucked a dude and didn't know to bring the loot. <laughs> <laughs> she must have been good at it because he still sends her nudes with fucking fruit being stuffed up his ass. Like, I remember that time from so long ago. <laughs> Mike is a student. I mean, she's probably pretty intelligent, but we all know how she passes her class. With a lot of hard work, guys. What the fuck? Are <laughs> you have always been nice to me, and I appreciate you so much. And you're gonna be really nice here. Yay! Yeah. Alright, um, I fucking hate all of you, and I hope you all die. Alright, bye. <laughs> Vicky's pussy looks like a side character from the never ending story. You <laughs> said you weren't going to talk about it! I'm sorry, I can't help you. It's fascinating. Oh my god. Vicky is uh, what happens to a uh, straight heterosexual male after Noel sucks their dick off. <laughs> Well, you are the Vietnam of uh, thirsty women. You come out of nowhere, and uh, people go MIA, and they're gone, but never forgotten. <laughs> that one's a little obscure, all right? <laughs> okay, support the troops, you assholes. All right, all right. <laughs> Who else do we have here? There's my friend Mo. Mo uh, recently told me he hasn't come in years after having sex with women. And uh, I get it, man. It's hard to do that after you've blown your load five times over a dirty wrestling mat when getting choked by Eric Small. <laughs> <laughs> Luke Demas is here. If you're quiet enough, ladies and gentlemen, you can hear his brain rattling around trying to make a thought. <laughs> Let's hear it for one of our new comics, Julie Cook. You're not escaping. <laughs> she was famous around here, not for being Robbie Cook's daughter, but because we all heard that story about that time you gave a juggalo a hand job at a bus stop. <laughs> please, like she, please, like she could afford 25 bucks to pay that poor guy. <laughs> Tried to flip him, that didn't work so much. <laughs> Oh my god, alright. And uh, it's Micah's last day. Let's hear it for Micah, you guys. Yeah! 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 We might. I think it's might just be me and Mo. Micah, you, uh, you look like every girl on Tinder that has one of those soulful pictures next to a horse. <laughs> Yeah, she's, she's gone, oh god. You look like you fucked so many Tinder dicks that your pussy has its own profile picture holding a trout. <laughs> <laughs> but, Brent, I, I want to also thank you. I've only met you, uh, we've been doing this for years, but I've only met you a handful of times, but you've always been really cool to me, so I just wanted to quickly say thank you, and like, yeah, you, I really appreciate you coming out, so come here, oh. have a hug. Okay. Yes. Talk to me twice. I knew him by name like a long time ago. Oh! Everybody has heard the legend of this dick. All right. <laughs> ah, what a lovely day. Might have to go outside and do some scooting. Anyway, next thing we did, we uh, had a featured show. What are you doing on your bike? Out at the Blind Onion for Dead Panda. So. Me and my uh, vice mayoral candidate, Luke Westberg, we put that on. It was kind of a weird one. Anyway, here are the clips of that. I'm just going to finish studying this man on this bike. Okay. What up, Matt Grass? Hey. <laughs> What's up? Uh, not for a little while. He might be in the back. Check, check, check. How's that? Do your Cosby impression. Yeah, this is the crowd. What's up? Do your Cosby impression. Uh, the pudding pops and, and popping the, the peels and the whippings and... I don't know. That's not bad. It's still racist, though. Okay. Sorry. So, um, I'm gonna finish off with this last little bit. Um, 
I was talking to Rainy in the shower this morning. I'm like, can I do a mass shooting joke? And she looked at me and she said, absolutely not. It's not the right time to do a mass shooting joke. Are you kidding me? And I said, you're right. I won't do a mass shooting joke. I'll just wait like the Texas police. <laughs> But you know, uh, I have a lot of white family back home in uh, Missouri, so for the first 32 years of my life, I've been black to them. And this year, you know, they've you know tried to remind me that I'm white, or at least I have white. Uh, uh, my dad's white and all, and I have to let them know that. Remember, there was that one drop rule for a very long time. You know, remember, fuck me, I'm only white whenever I need a loan and I need to get my grandma involved. So fuck you guys, like back off, all right? Let's go, y'all not. It's a rule. What? Did you say gruel? <laughs> like medieval food? <laughs> oh yeah, it's <some> good gruel. <laughs> oh yeah, put it in your goblet. <laughs> put the gruel in your goblet and put it down your gullet. <laughs> the silver chastity. It's my favorite DVD on VHS. <laughs> Gruel Girls 5. <laughs> <laughs> They'll eat whatever. That's what, that's what uh, Two Girls One Cup should have been called, right? Gruel Girls? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I spoke way too much weed before. Okay. Magic, who here has been picked on in high school before? Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay, a couple people. Uh, whoever wooed, what'd you get picked on for? Wait, go on, for having sex with what? With a, with a stick. <laughs> now, when you say you had sex with a stick, what did it call? She meant a dildo. Like that. Yeah, because I've heard of a dildo before. Did this stick, was this like something you found um, in the fall, maybe a branch broke, or was this like. Well, did this have little numbers on it that measure distance? Because that's actually called a ruler. It's called, it was a, he was driving a stick in a car. You oh. 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 Hey, let's give it up for the funniest person in the room tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Having sex with a gear shifter, all right. <laughs> I'm assuming this was in driver's ed, so you must have passed, right? <laughs> Hey guys, Michael here, just speaking to you telepathically. Bet you didn't know I could do that. Last thing we did was we went to the open mic at the Blind Onion. So, listen to all of our funny jokes. Uh, yeah, so my first joke topic for tonight, I gotta warn you, it is pretty heavy. Yeah, weighted blankets. Yeah, weighted blankets are good for three things. Uh, staying warm in the winter. Uh, secondly, they're good for reducing your anxiety because it feels like you're receiving a hug from a, a giant bear, uh, or maybe he's a furry, I don't know. But either way, he's whispering sweet nothings under my ear, and he's just like, Oh, hello, Luke. How are you doing tonight? You don't have to be sad. I'm a, I'm a big, ferocious bear, but uh, I'm not going to hurt you, and I'm not going to touch you inappropriately, either. No, I'm just going to be for, here for you as a friend and lick up your salty tears. And uh, the third thing that weighted blankets are great for is uh, smothering newborn babies. Yeah. Because I'm getting older, or if I'm just overthinking it and becoming a hypochondriac. But just this week, I think I found out I'm allergic to lube. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, using it to take care of some personal business, <laughs> and after I was extremely hydrate or dehydrated, it felt like it drained all the fluids out of my body. So I guess that's the way I'm gonna die. Somebody's gonna find me shriveled up on my floor with my fully lubricated dick in my hand. <laughs> because I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> it's so much better than soap in the shower. <laughs> or even that thick spit you have when you have a cold. <laughs> These are people that know what I'm talking about. They've tried it. <laughs>
You know, after after years of slavery and oppression, you really think the Jews would be better athletes by now, am I right, guys? Have you seen the NFL? The NBA? Like, the, it's 80-20 beef there, you know? Like, you're lucky if you see a white guy. Like, I, I didn't vote for Trump, but... But I don't like mixed race couples either, you know? Like, because back in the day for like the, the NBA, you know what team you're going for. It was either like Magic Johnson or Larry Bird. You knew what side you were on, you know? What is Steph Curry? I, I don't know, you know? Like, the dog said he was kind of white. The dog said he was white. Like, so, the racist jokes aren't hit anymore, so. Naturally, I will double down on them. Come on, guys, eat it! That one's good. That's gonna make a great TikTok, Luke. <laughs> the first time I ever got a dick pic, I was 18 years old. I don't like your face. Thanks. You look like you just sent them to 17 year olds. Four of them, but don't tell anybody. Okay, but um, yeah, I, some of us are late bloomers. But so the first time, and um, so what I did when I did get that dick pic was make it my phone background. Um, and then I went to frat parties. And I'd talk to guys for like maybe 30 seconds. I'd be like, yeah, League of Legends is super cool. Uh, give me your phone number. And I'd hand them my phone like super aggressively. And um, let me tell you, only half of the men will even mention the penis. They'll say, um, is that a penis? And I just say, yeah, it's my brother's. <laughs> Now, um, sorry, this guy's on the phone, we have to be quiet now. <laughs> Alright guys, so you may have heard the uh, recent rumors around town. Yes, there is a Michael Graham running for the mayor of Reno, but no, it is not me. But if it were, I did write a statement for you guys. Thank you. All right, so, currently, as the most important Michael Graham in the area, I think it is my, my responsibility to ensure voter turnout by saying that, if elected, the actual candidate Michael Graham will suck your dick in public. <laughs> Community. We will invent pills that make you no longer have to eat or cut your fingernails. Those functions will just stop. You will no longer have to go to the bathroom anymore. And we will stop measuring things by using horsepower. It's an archaic, ineffective way for measuring the power of your modern day conveniences. For instance, obviously a horse with three legs is going to have less power than a horse with four. Why are we measuring things this way? We should measure things in car power now. <laughs> Thank you. All right, we don't measure sh ants. I mean, grains of sugar in how much I pay way as an ant carcass. I was writing an analogy there about the horsepower thing. We measure sugar in fucking grams, so get out there and rock the boat, you guys. Vote for Mike! Vote for Mike! Vote for Mike! Vote for Mike! My fellow Americans, what did you think of that episode? Please feel free to leave a comment and a vote for me down below. Make sure that you like and subscribe and press the little bell for any notifications that come along. I am not mayoral candidate Michael Graham, but I do have the same name, so I am saying, definitely vote for me. I will do anything you want. Other than that, did you like my friends? You can see all of their Instagrams and follow them on the next page over. Thank you for watching.
Stay sweet, motherfucker. I hadn't slept in weeks.